Okay, so here's another another bat. And we're gonna clean the bat off real quick here. And I'm gonna throw a bowl here, the berry bowl part. Okay, so. This berry bowl, we're gonna throw this out of uh, about a pound and a half, or maybe a pound and three quarters. Here we go. Pound and a three quarter bowl. Here we are. Pound and three quarters. We just gonna smash them together. Try not to trap any air in between the two pieces, but this is about as close as I get to uh, to wedging. I know I'm a bad potter to do it that way, but it's been working like that for years and years. So, okay, here we go. Berry bowl. Pound and three quarters. <laughs> Get that close to the middle there and make it a little simpler. Okay, we're gonna cone this puppy up. Put her back down. Got a little bit of extra clay on the wheel here when I get it off. It's making my finger bump. There we go. Okay, centering uh, one and three quarter pounds of clay, and we're gonna make the berry ball now. Dropping a hole. Want to leave this hole extra thick on the bottom because as you start to pull and do the different things, you're gonna to start to lose your bottom as you pull it. So we got about double what we need right there, and that's okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically bury the hole and we're gonna pull this floor, this berry bowl. And there it is, the floor. Smooth out the interior. Interior smoothing out. Got one little air bubble in the bottom of this piece. So I'm gonna pierce it and just lightly push out the air. There you go. Not to worry. Okay, so here we got the bowl, the bowl made. Every bowl on the bottom. Alrighty, now what we're gonna do is lift the ed outside edge here. And we're gonna throw this ball straight up. simple bowl here. Not much to it. Alrighty, so now we have our basic form of the berry bowl pulled. You can see it's a nice sort of semi-wide bowl. And you put your strawberries in there and then the bowl, these will have holes and stuff. And you can bring them to the table on the dish. So all we're doing now is making the inside curve, the outside curve, and we've got the basic berry ball thrown. And of course we're gonna have to foot this and put some holes in it, which we'll do later and I'll show you that too. Okay, a basic berry ball. And what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna slightly trim the outside edge here, although we're gonna have to turn this over for trimming. So I take away the excess clay on the bottom, pull her out, cut her all. Here we go. Set this over here on the scrap pile. 
and we basically have the bowl made. Now the problem with this thing is, is that this is nothing now. The throwing of the form is not the finishing of the form, so we'll have to come back to this later and uh, finish it. I've got my chamois here drying on the mirror, and I'm going to strap this edge just to make it more uniform. Inside and out's done. And this too, since we're going to be trimming this bowl and cutting most of the foot away, we don't have to worry about the wire tool. So we're going to undercut right here this, uh, this whole bowl. Alrighty, so now we have thrown the saucer and the plate for a berry bowl set. And what I'll do now is I'm going to take this uh, camera right here and turn it around so we can shoot this stuff. Okay, so here's the outside of a berry bowl and of course Here's the inside of the berry bowl right there. And of course we have to cut a bunch of holes in this. So we're gonna set this over here to dry. And of course, here's the plate for the berry bowl right here. This plate's gonna go with this berry bowl. and It's already starting to lift a little bit and we'll get back to that. And we're gonna show you the further lift. All right, so we'll be back on this tape and we'll be doing the, the trimming of the pot and the cutting of the holes to make it into a berry bowl. At any rate, this is your, uh, your friend Pitter the Potter in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, uh, and we'll be posting this clip on the internet fairly soon. Bye-bye.